Welcome back to Pulse of the Port. We're here at Gull Park Bird Sanctuary with Port of Long Beach Environmental Specialist James Vernon. James, thanks for joining us again. You're welcome. Now tell me a little bit about some of the equipment right behind us. This doesn't look like it belongs in a bird sanctuary necessarily. Well, actually this is an air monitoring station. So uh, it's actually measuring real-time pollutant levels in the air. You can go on the Port of Long Beach website and get real-time information on different pollutants like ozone or diesel particulates and uh, also get like weather information like wind speed and direction, things like that. The air quality outlook is getting better and better here in the San Pedro Bay area. In this next segment, you'll see what looks like a giant vacuum cleaner that will go a long way toward the dream of a zero emissions port. The Port of Long Beach has earned its green port title by reducing port related pollution 81% since 2005. But that isn't all. Another major air quality breakthrough is about ready for deployment at the port. Harbor Commission Vice President Rich Dines recently led a demonstration of the mobile barge-mounted Advanced Maritime Emissions Control System, or AMEX. Emissions from the ship are about half of the pollution that, that ports create. So by capturing all the emissions from vessels, we dramatically reduce the amount of port-related pollution. Currently undergoing testing, Amex uses a 115-foot tower and a large boom to connect hoses to the exhaust ports of a ship, capturing 100% of the emissions, much like a car's catalytic converter. We process the gas. We have a big fan that, that, that will basically suck the gas through our system. So sulfur dioxide, 99.9%, knock out 95% of the particulate matter and then we knock out 99.9% .9 of the nitrogen oxide. So that's how it works. Shore power is a very successful strategy for dealing with um, the at-birth emissions when a ship is at birth. But a system like this gives additional flexibility for the industry. So if there's a shipping line that needs to swap out one of its ships, that ship isn't retrofitted for shore power, a system like this is a great alternative. This is a, a technology that would allow the ships to continue to come to the ports of LA, the ports of Long Beach. We need the business, we need the jobs, and this technology will create jobs, and it'll clean the air. This pioneering technology has taken more than 10 years to develop, and is being aided by a $2 million grant by the Port of Long Beach to the South Coast Air Quality Management District for testing and certification. It's critical. Without that kind of support, you would never get a project like this off the ground. It's an extremely expensive technology to develop. But now that we have it down, you know, we can uh, lower the cost of being able to provide a service like this so that we can pass on an hourly flat cost to the shipping industry so that it does, it's not such a huge burden on them. This is really a global solution. It's not just something that's special for Long Beach, but ports around the world will see a benefit from reduction in port pollution. For more information on the port's efforts to improve air quality, visit polb.com slash environment. It's not just the birds that appreciate environmental efforts like that. When we come back, tag along with researchers as they take stock of some amazing ecosystems above and below the water here. Consider it a checkup for the harbor. Stay with us. <laughs> 